Hello friends, welcome to a new video. Today I bring you progress of the construction of the first line of the Metro Bogota that will have approximately 24 kilometers long and 16 stations. Today, I will show you how the construction of the first section of the viaduct of the Bogota Metro is going, since a few months ago began the installation of prefabricated piles PHC, abbreviation in English of pretension high string concrete pile that will support the structure of the viaduct along the 24 kilometers that has the work, but initially will work on the first three kilometers. Between the entrance of the workshop yard and stations one and two in the Villa Vicencio Avenue to Ciudad de Cali Avenue. As I have explained in previous videos, the piles are manufactured in the prefabrication yard, then they are being transported by low boy to the front of the work site where they will be installed in this case on Villa Vicencio Avenue, near the future Gibraltar Park. Then the piles are hoisted by the pile driving machine, and placed in the center of this machine, with the help of the counterweights and the clamps that secure the pile. At each required point an average of 3 to 4 piles must be driven to reach a depth of 45 to 60 meters. Finally the pile driving machine that weighs more than 1000 tons, presses the pile on the ground to the design depth. Each pile is 15 meters long, 1 meter in diameter, and weighs 16 tons. For this activity, the pressure pile driving machines work with electricity thus minimizing pollution. In the same way they have the ability to perform three functions in the same machine. In addition to helping the driving of piles, as a system of crane and auger that work with the noise and vibration control on the ground. This allows the pile driving to be done under pressure without the need for impact or hammering, thus mitigating noise and most importantly, without generating waste. These machines are already driving the piles under pressure in order to build the Bogota Metro Viaduct until approximately 2027. This time only one pile driver could be observed working on the pile driving activities and also the driving activities between supports 37 to 47 have already been completed, and work continues on supports 48 and 49, and the piles from 50 to 60 to have already been finished with 16 piles, and between 30 and 60 meters deep, and also there are already finished piles in the supports S201, of 25 piles of 30 meters, in S202, of 16 piles of 30 meters, and in S203, of 11 piles and between supports S204, and S213, of 12 piles each one in which at least 7 already have their piles completely finished and others are in the process of being finished. Finally, in the support S214, work continues on the pressure driving activities as well as the transfer of the water networks. And as I was saying a few seconds ago, in the supports as to mention above, are already being built in some of them the foundation blocks and in at least 10 supports you can already see the steels to cast the first piles on this avenue. And in fact you can already see one of the first piles to be fully completed, and it is possible that by the time I am uploading this video there is already another finished pillar. And most likely in the coming months you will see at least 10 piles on this avenue Villa Vicencio and also in front of the future Gibraltar Park and begin the foundation of the first metro station. Starting also with the installation of prefabricated piles and then later we will see the dice and then yes the foundations of the piles and other elements of this station built under the architectural methodology of mezzanine. The new progress of the viaduct in this first section is as follows from kilometer 1.34 to kilometer 1.6 is 56.04% from kilometer 1.6 to kilometer 2.05 is 54.56% and from kilometer 2.05 to, to kilometer 2.48 is 36.19% then from kilometer to 0.482 to 0.79, which is where there are a large number of determined dice, it is 54.8%, from kilometer to 0.7 to kilometer 3, 
and is 31%. And finally from kilometer 3 to 3.44 it is 29.67%. And also between Guayacanes Avenue and Ciudad de Cali Avenue excavation is being done in order to make the transfer of Bill Vicencio Avenue. To start building the viaduct where currently gives way from west to east in this area in addition to the two new roadways of Villavicencio Avenue, will also be made a traffic light return. We can already see that the new east-west roadway of Villavicencio Avenue has already been opened, and it is also expected that this roadway will continue to be built as well as the other one that will be in the east-west direction and also the return that as we can see will be located on the north side of Villa Vicencio Avenue. In conclusion, this time we can observe a great progress between the two future stations of the Bogota Metro. Near the first one we can already observe a great work activity with most of the supports already cemented and it will not take long to see in the coming months the first piles of this viaduct of the first line of the Metro of Bogota which will be located on the north side of Villa Vicencio Avenue. On the other hand, between Guayacanes Avenue and Ciudad de Cali Avenue, the excavations to drive the pressure piles have not yet begun because the new roadways where the mixed traffic will pass, as well as the transfer of all the networks, have not yet been generated. But it is expected that this will be done this year in order to start building at least in this first work front up to the vicinity of Ciudad de Cali Avenue work front 1 in English work front WF1. Between kilometer 0 to kilometer 3.6 includes the construction of 62 supports. The first two stations the first at kilometer 2.1 and the second at kilometer 3.4. And to date the concessionaire Metro Line 1 performs the activities of foundation of the supports and transfer and construction of networks between the execution units 80 to do the execution unit 91. The Metro reports a total execution progress of approximately 31% and the foundation of the viaduct at the general level has a work progress of 9.38%. As always thank you for subscribing. If you like this content and want to hear more information about urban planning or architecture projects, like me, subscribe, comment, share, and click on the bell so you do not miss any new video.